Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. Every few years, Serenade implements updates to its user interface to make the software visually better. This video is intended to go over the recent update to the user interface. You will first notice a new login page. You will log in with your same login credentials. Once logged in, you will notice the layout has been updated. The home page now gives an overview of the work that has been done recently. You will now see your client and case reminders, a pie chart showing which types of cases you've done in the past months, and how many new cases you've created in the past months. You will also see newly added sections like recently updated cases and recently updated client profiles. The case number and client name are clickable links, a quick access to locate those recently updated profiles. You will also see case process steps assigned to you. Lastly, if you wish to see icons from the previous homepage layout, they are now quick links. If you click to expand the quick links, it will show those links that were in the previous homepage layout. You can proceed to click on any to perform the action you are accustomed to. Besides the quick links, you now have links to the left which will help you either create or locate different things, similar to the links that used to be on the blue bar up top. You will notice that when you hover your mouse over an area, it will expand with options. A new implementation in the software is less clicks and more hovering to allow you to select an option. When we hover over the Create button, you will see options to create a client profile, a case, send a questionnaire, or process a payment. When selecting the Clients and Contact button, you will be taken into the area to locate a client profile, similarly to what you previously had. Once you search and locate a client profile, if you hover over the Actions button, you will see the options to edit, load more data, and if you have the access right to delete, delete the client profile. Another recent implementation is the Actions button has been condensed. However, when hovering over it, it will expand to show different actions. If we click on the Edit button, we are taken into the client profile. The client profile functionality-wise is similar to what you are used to. However, you will also see that these profiles got a revamped look. If you wish to go to a section in the client profile, same as before, you will click on the tab to the right, and when adding info on a section and saving, the info will save to the profile. Let us go back to the home page and see other sections on the left. The next button is Cases. When clicked, you will see the option to search for a case, similarly to what you are used to. When searching a case and going into a case, you will see that the case profile has a revamped look, but will function similarly to what you are used to. The search button below also allows you to search for a client and case profile, but additionally allows you to do an advanced search and run reports. The Tools section allows you to use things like blank forms, tickler, and other tools. You will also see your mailbox here where questionnaires and intake forms were submitted where you can go in and accept. And lastly, a link that will take you into your calendar. As mentioned before, you have the option of selecting the links here on the left which makes things easily accessible or click on the quick links on the home page to take you to the previous layout and perform the task you would like to do. If you prefer having the links up top as opposed to on the left, it can be changed in the user settings. Go to your user settings by clicking on the settings icon and then selecting user preferences. Locate the setting that says hide sidebar navigation and enable it. Once selected and saved, the menu will now show at the top. Lastly, you will see on the top right that you also have quick access to view submitted questionnaires, taking you into your mailbox, a link to your messages if you have the option of module messaging, allowing you to read messages sent to you and compose new ones, a link to SMS notifications if you have the option of module SMS notifications, allowing you to compose SMS messages and be able to read replies, and lastly, icons for support and user's guide, your settings, and to log off which you previously had in the software. Before we end this, a bit of information. Because Microsoft is discontinuing Internet Explorer, this new update will not work on Internet Explorer. We recommend switching over to Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or other. If you have any questions about the updates, you can send us an email to ecmssupport at serenade.com or call us at 1-800-617-4202. Thank you for watching.